I love my school supplies. Your school supplies? Have you seen mine? Wow. No offense, but yours are kind of boring. Yours are straight up ugly, and that's a fact. Ladies, no need to argue. We already had two competitions in our class. Remember which? Halloween costumes. Correct. And? Slime competition. Exactly. Should we throw a DIY school supplies competition as well? Let's yes. do it. Let the games begin. A staple in every school bag is a notebook. So give me your best DIY notebook ideas. Here's a super cool notebook idea which doubles up as a pencil holder. Grab an old pair of jeans or shorts and cut out the back pocket. These shorts are way too small and short for me, so I decided to recycle them and give them a new life. Stick the pocket to the notebook using a hot glue gun or other glue with a good hold. My notebook is pretty plain, and you know me, plain is just not my vibe. Let's decorate it with a few iron-on patches which go perfectly with the jeans theme of our notebook. Place all your pens and pencils into the pocket and you're ready for school. How freaking amazing is that a pencil case and a notebook in one you can also use the pocket for other school necessities like paper pins post-it notes and so on i love the transformation from my plain and boring notebook to this cute useful fun and unique version what an upgrade look at this gorgeous flamingo picture so adorable you know what let's make a fluffy flamingo notebook find a flamingo picture online print it and cut out with scissors stick the flamingo to your notebook to make this creation even more special glue a fluffy pom-pom on Top. The trick is to match the pom-pom color to the color of your flamingo. That way everything will come together nicely. And the best part is that you can make so many different animals using pom-poms. Ooh, beautiful! Yay! I love the colors and the pom-pom. You started strong, Katie. It's an eight. Here's my notebook, Miss Teacher. <gasps> ah, I love this idea! A notebook and a pencil case in one! So smart! I love how useful this is. Sarah, you get a nine. Yes! For the next round, I want to see your best DIY pencil cases and pencil holders. Yes, I have an epic idea. So many fuzzy socks. What are they for, you ask? We'll use a fuzzy sock to create our fluffy unicorn pencil pot. Place a little pot, glass or a jar in a fuzzy sock like that. Cut away the excess fabric at the bottom of your pencil pot. Put together a horn and a pair of ears from felt and stick them to the pot. I cut the unicorn eyes with long perky lashes from black foam paper. Finish up your creation with a bunch of mini pom-poms. Alternatively, you can use artificial flowers, beads, buttons or any other decor you can find at your home. This fuzzy unicorn unicorn pencil holder is just the cutest thing ever. Such an amazing room decoration and desk organization piece. Another fluffy DIY? Yes please! Place a rectangular piece of fabric on a flat surface and make sure to have a furry part facing down. Put a zipper across the lower third like that. Apply a stripe of hot glue along the bottom half to fold the bottom part of furry fabric up. Repeat the step on the upper part of the zipper. Place a pair of pointy teeth on before folding the red fur fabric down like that. I made the teeth from a piece of white felt. Flip your creation inside out and make sure to open the zipper. Cut two horns from black felt and place them inside our furry pocket on both sides like I'm doing here. Sew the left and right edges together. Flip the pencil case inside out to reveal your epic creation. All that's missing are a pair of googly eyes and our fluffy monster pencil case is finished. I'm obsessed with this little guy. Pouches like this are so useful to have, whether it's for your pens, makeup or other bits and pieces. They make organizing so much easier and more fun. I need to buy furry fabric in other colors and make a bunch of monster friends ASAP. Yup, a fluffy monster family of pouches is absolutely needed in my life. It's not my cup of tea. The execution is nice, but that's it. It's a five. What? That's crazy. This monster is cute, not scary. Let's stop. Katie, it's your turn. I made an adorable unicorn pencil holder. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. The cutest pencil pot I've ever seen. It's a nine. Yes. I want you to make DIY school bags. Let's go! Alright! How should we 
the pimp up this plain jeans backpack. I know, let's draw on an evil eye. Begin by sketching the design. That's a very important step for me as I find freehand drawing super hard. Take some fabric paints and color the evil eye. I wanna make my backpack a bit more funky and colorful. Let's go for yellow lashes plus yellow, red and blue accents below the eye. Take some clay, I decided to start with red. Place a larger circle of clay on a flat surface. Top it with white, blue and black circles which should be smaller and smaller. Let's flatten with a roller. Next take a needle and make a little hole on the edge. When the clay hardens, a cool evil eye pendant is born. Decorate it with beads, tassels or other pieces that you have at home and tie it on your backpack. My evil eye backpack turned out so well. It's fun and bright but at the same time not too crazy and in your face. I love it. This color scheme makes it super wearable. You can pair it with jeans, skirts or even sweatpants. It's so versatile and I already know I'll be using it all the time. Next backpack creation is super fun, bright and extremely delicious. Let's transform this bright pink school bag in a tasty dessert. Yummy! First up, melted chocolate. Draw a chocolate dripping design using black or brown fabric paint. Feel free to choose any other color and make your bag even more funky. I wanna have some cool 3D shine details on the drips. Cut a teardrop shape out of a piece of masking tape. Stick these templates on the lower parts of the drips and color them in white. Once everything is colored, remove the masking tape and reveal your epic chocolate dripping backpack. We need a pendant decor for this backpack as well. Glue a silicone cupcake liner to a pom-pom and you have an adorable fluffy cupcake that you can use as a keychain or a backpack decoration. You could also draw colorful sprinkles all over the chocolate drippings on your school bag. Another epic idea would be to draw each drip in one rainbow color. You would end up with a rainbow paint dripping backpack. <laughs> what can we do? I love these dripping DIYs way too much. Ooh, I like it! Girly, but still a bit edgy! And I love the little cupcake as well! It's a nine! Yes. Here's my Miss Teacher! Mmm, the evil eye! You're in the spooky mood today, Sara, aren't you? Actually, I really like this! And the decor with tassels is absolutely stunning! You get a ten! Bravo! Bravo! Sara is two points behind, but it's not over yet. For the last round, I want to see DIY pencil ideas. Oh, these flowers look all dry and dead. But hey, there's an awesome hack which will allow us to have beautiful flowers on our desk all year around. Pick a plant pot like this one and optionally decorate it to your liking. I decided to color a few of these little triangles in pink, blue and yellow to make my plant pot a bit cuter. Once the acrylic paint dries, you can fill the pot with some decorative sand. Everything is ready for our flowers to be planted. Take a green pencil, remove the eraser and stick it in the sand. Squeeze some hot glue in the empty eraser hole and place on a fake flower. Add more flowers to your flower pot and your cute flower decor slash stationery slash pencil pot is completed. How cute is that? Long ago I gave up on having real flowers in my home because I just can't keep them alive. So this flower pencil pot decoration is absolutely perfect for me. I get my flowers, cuteness on my desk and an awesome organization holder for all my pencils. Wanna give a complete makeover to your plain pencils? Apply some hot glue on the top part of the pencil. Stick on a fluffy pom-pom. Add two small pom-poms in the same color scheme and top them with a pair of googly eyes. The result are the cutest fluffy pencils with bulging eyes. This DIY idea is so quick and easy to put together but turned out absolutely adorable. I mean, look at these guys. Plain pencils are very inexpensive, while special versions with cool toppers or other details usually cost a lot more. So save up your coin and make your school supplies some amazing yourself. Are you guys ready to find out who will be the final winner? Fluffy pom-pom pencils! Actually, these are really lovely! Your score is… It's an 8! Here's my pencil creation, Miss Teacher! Oh my goodness! This is the most beautiful idea ever! Really? It's for you! You can have it because you're nice and beautiful just like a flower! Are you sure? Thank you so much! Your score is… Seriously? It's a 10! Bravo! Bravo! And thank you for the flowers! Yes! I object! She didn't follow the rules! You said DIY pencils and she made a DIY pencil pot! Plus, she's trying to bribe you! She should be disqualified! This is not true! I made a better DIY than you! Just accept this it! This is such a lie and you know Silence! It. This competition is cancelled! You two are impossible! But thanks for the flowers! 
I wonder if there will ever be a drama-free competition in this classroom. Just the thought of it makes me so excited. Who knows, maybe it happens next time. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss our future adventures. Love you and I'll see you soon. Mwah!